Hey guys, how's it going? This is Hassan here from Hashtag and today I've got something excited for all you guys. Today I'm going to review the first flight Note 7 style ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S4 GTI 9500. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as always, let's split this video up into three main sections software features performance and battery life so getting into the first one there aren't any particularly new software features that we haven't seen before you've got your head screen and all but no air command that is weird considering this is a note rom but the exciting thing here of course is the ui style now this is a heavily themed rom based on the allen 95 note 5 port and it pretty much looks like the new Samsung Grace UI. From the system apps such as the dialers or the messages or the calendar apps and to the keyboard and to the notification panel, everything is themed. Even the setting panel is themed and the developer has done a great job but it's not perfect of course because it's obviously not based upon the Android Marshmallow of course. It's based upon the old 5.1.1 but it still looks like the Note 7 UI and it doesn't glitch in any way. You get to choose the camera in the software and of course you have that ambient display as well. Okay, so that's enough. Now moving on to the performance section. The performance is average to be very honest and it's not crazily fast but it isn't sluggish by any means. Things move around relatively smoothly and frame drops are almost non-existent and the recent menu and the multitasking is smooth so props to the developer for that. Moving into the battery section now. The battery life is certainly on the better side. Standby time is excellent. Screen on time is 2.5 to 3 hours. You can get a day out of this ROM but in the end I think this ROM is daily driver material. And if you want a stable Note 7 style ROM, you should go with it. So guys, that was the first flight Note 7 style ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S4. And to be honest, it's a pretty good ROM. And uh, it's a pretty light ROM. It's a pretty fast ROM. And it's uh, good in every aspect. Now, you might be wondering, why is the phone white? Well, I told you my screen was broken. Then the dumbass who fixed it. He put the glass in the wrong direction on it and I got it changed again so there was no black glass so I got a white one so that's why it's white now. But yeah guys that's my time. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and effort. Like it, he, he didn't... So there was no white glass so I got a uh, mm -hmm.